Hello again! Welcome back to Amazing Builds, where you'll learn how to create unique mechanical models using simple crafting methods and your personal touch. Today I'm building an antique projector. This model is able to generate its own electricity for the light source and can project a short loop of film. I will start building it using the original kit, but will enhance it using additional steps such as sanding, waxing and coloring. This will give our model an antique feel and it will also make the assembly easier. But first, let's take a look at the contents of the box. Here we have one business card with contact information, feedback instructions, a manual, a set of wooden boards, some thinner than others. Here we can see the film strip and the dynamo. Now let's look at what's inside the smaller box. There are a few plastic tubes here a roll of tape along with a patch of sandpaper, a handful of metallic wooden shafts, these are paired with a small screwdriver, we also have a piece of wax and a set of plastic washers. Throughout this build, I'll be using some of my own tools and materials in addition to the kit. The first one is fine sandpaper attached to a foam handle. Then I pick this set of small files and I'll use them to smoothen the pieces of different shapes and sizes. Tweezers and colored wax paste which is a good alternative to paint. One of the steps of achieving an amazing model is to lightly sand all the boards before taking out any pieces. This will also remove any splinters on the surface. If you want to see how the complete process of sanding applies to your models, check out my detailed video on how to perfectly sand wooden pieces. Earlier I went through the manual page by page and I took out all pieces that are part of the projector's case. Now I'm sanding down all of these birds, including the edges in those tricky corners. Some of these pieces will hold rotating parts, so I've rolled a patch of sandpaper to ensure the inner edges are properly sanded. It's important to have all touching surfaces as smooth as possible. I want the case of the projector to have an antique look. You can choose any color you want, but I prefer yellow wax paste because it's milder and it also protects the wood against humidity.
So I let the wax face dry for about an hour. And now I'm assembling the first pieces. This is the generator that provides electricity for this LED.
If you're a fan of filmmaking and assembling mechanical models, building the antique projector will combine both of these great hobbies. This model is based on the early movie projectors from the end of the 19th century. The cinema took off invented by the Lumiere brothers had its first public demonstration in December 1895, and within months only, the device was being used throughout Europe and North America. Another early movie projector was patented in 1895 by a man named Thomas Armat. Originally called the Fantascope, it was rebranded as the Vitascope after the invention was bought by Thomas Edison. The Vitascope's first theatrical exhibition was on April 23, 1896, and this took place at Coster in Beale's Music Hall in New York City. By May 1897, just one year later, several hundred projectors were already in use across the United States.
Well, this is it. The final step. And the most exciting one, which is loading the film into the projector. The best part about this model is that it keeps the main features of a real projector. The handle engages three different mechanisms. The first one is the dynamo, and this produces the electricity for the LED. The second one is the shutter, which opens and closes regularly as the handle is turned. And the third mechanism advances the film one frame at a time. It's synchronized with the shutter in such a way that the frame advances when the shutter is closed and is being held still when the shutter is open and the light is allowed to pass. And this is how the illusion of a moving picture is created. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and for more amazing builds, subscribe to this channel.